Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting tutorial of Adobe Premiere Pro and in this tutorial we will be talking about chroma key and what the keying effect does in a graphic key or editing software. If you've seen any movie or television lately or you have seen it in the past few 20 or so years, you come across chroma keying technique definitely. Chroma keying uh, technique is actually the technique when people, uh, when they shoot in the studio footage of people flying or big explosion and stuff going on in front of a green screen or a blue screen or whatever screen they use, they prefer and then put that footage of that person inside an alien planet or spaceship or they are fighting with robots and stuff like that which is computer computer generated graphics uh, CGI's you know uh, all those stuff are done with chroma keying you know the color is then removed with keying effect and the background is then revealed okay uh, the same thing is applied in the news uh, reporting when uh, people stand in front of these uh, green screens and blue screens and then they perform their you know and gestures in front uh, and in the background the map of the world is shown and different graphics are shown weather reports are most of the time um, almost all of the time has been generated like this you know so there are a lot of other things you know you can put your footage or key out if you have a good uh, uh, created a good footage of yourself you know you have been flying around you can key out the background or the wall the, or the color that you have used and put yourself into blockbuster movies of course there is a tutorial about this uh, in my youtube channel how you can put yourself in movies and stuff uh, you can check that out for that thing uh, it's done in After Effects, but this one is. Uh, 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 but this technique can also be done in Premiere Pro. Um, the technique that is done in After Effects is a little bit more complex and uh, requires a little bit more expertise. But uh, this one is really simple. Uh, the one they have given in uh, Premiere Pro, and today we will learn how to use it. I'm gonna key out this red area for example you do not like this red area and you want the background to show through it or you have created a color matter which you can of course cre create in here that we have talked about <coughs> in the past videos it gives you a good background to work with uh, suppose our background is blue and you want this color to be changed to blue so you can color it out or remove it or you just want it to be transparent and want the background or the underneath photograph or video footage to show up so you can do that so let's uh, get started uh, to key out this red color you have to go to effects and write in here ultra key okay now the keys in different software have different names but in premiere pro its name is ultra key so if you work in after effects and write ultra key and you do not find a key then uh, there is a possibility that the keying uh, effect also plugin might have a different name in there so in here it, its name is ultra key so let's apply this okay as you apply it for the first time it does not do anything okay that is because you have to first choose the color which you want to key out it do not uh, key out the entire footage you know and for that purpose you use this eyedropper uh, select the eyedropper with the mouse and then hover over the color that you want to key out and then click on it once and then it keys it out as you can see now it has become transparent you are not limited to one solid color you can do it with a lot of colors but these colors you know which have some gray and some black and some mixing of other colors you know keying of these are possible but it leaves a little bit more work to you know clear them up Okay, first of all, let's see uh, full screen this and see how our king has happened. Our key is happened very really precisely, and we we do not see any red or there is no patches of anything else in here. So it's a very really good key. 
but if it is not there are parameters here given you know these sliders there is no perfect way to judge which key or which parameter will work for your footage but you can uh, use these sliders up and down you know to left and right till it matches or keys your footage clearly out mate generation and um, mate cleanup is uh, are the ones that mostly people use if there is some key or color that your key out is showing around the edges then this choke area is the best one uh, uh, choke parameter is the best parameter to use to clean that up and then once you use some choke or given it some choke then soften the choke with a soften parameter you know all these things since we do not need it our key is already very uh, you know clear and now I'm gonna control Z uh, this key and we're gonna apply the key to the screen to show you guys that this is uh, not you are not just limited to this color you can do it with other colors too okay I'm gonna now click on this grass to see if we make it transparent and as you can see now it looks like that our background uh, photograph the books have been faded or been uh, you know uh, combined with our footage of the sky and other stuff and it gives you different sort of unexpected and beautiful results at times you know you can use these to make your own superpower or superheroes type of a movie or a video clip and post it on the YouTube or stuff like that and show it to your friends and impress them and the possibilities with this effect are almost limitless I think if one person uh, can say that that this effect is perhaps the most used effect in graphics softwares today you would not be incorrect it is that much useful and that much popular soft uh, effect if you master it uh, the possibility of what you can do with this effect is only limited by your imagination it is a very very powerful effect as i always say to you guys you will learn these things the more the more you practice with them so keep practicing with it with that said uh, that's it for today's tutorial i hope you enjoy this tutorial and i hope to see you in the next tutorial till then goodbye